wonderful opportunity. Hello? Yes. Uh, hello? Yes, I can continue. Yes. Uh, uh, today we are going to see download uh, like uh, reservoir data appreciation using download memory gauges. Like uh, we are going to see uh, what is uh, pressure and temperature survey. We are going to, uh, like in hello. So download memory gauges functions and the pressure and temperature survey well testing techniques and gradient calculations. Uh, introduction now. What is uh, reservoir data appreciation, which means uh, uh, will help to understand the pressure and temperature survey of the well testing technique, and it will help to identify the well fluids, what is inside the well, like water or ga gas or oil, to know exactly what is inside and how much pressure and temperature in a different concept. Uh, like uh, sometimes we'll do daily survey, like bottom roll closing pressure survey, bottom roll flowing pressure survey. And uh, well testing technique means uh, like uh, pressure build up test and pressure fall up test. So, uh, next one, it's a, uh, you can show this uh, show this image. Uh, it's uh, down all memory gauges. It's a quartz gauge. There is two types of gauges recently. One is strain gauge, and another one is uh, quartz gauges. Uh, before we need to run the gauge safely, we need to be very careful with the battery safety. Because most of the gauge failures happen due to battery failure, battery. So it's a lithium metal battery. So we need, so we need to use, uh, before we use the battery, we need to know the well condition. So some well, like gas will have very high temperature. So need to, do not use above their temperature. Sometimes we have battery, what maximum capacity 150 degrees Celsius, but the well temperature more than 150. So need, high temperature battery and need to store the battery in cool places and do not in introduce a metallic or a conductive object in a battery and uh, very importantly do not throw a battery in a fire or something because it will pass away and uh, don't put the battery in under pressure or stress or something it will blast so it's a, it's a hazardous material so always handle the battery safely Yes, but most of the gauge failure recording stopped due to battery failure. Battery depassivated de to activate the battery. So uh, if you are not using the battery for a long time, battery will sleep. So we need to depassivate the battery to activate. For uh, something hurt long press to, to de uh, activate the battery and we need to check the voltage, battery voltage. At least the battery voltage should be 3.20 voltage and above for long test survey. So if you want to set the gauges, tandem gauges, normal memory gauges for long time, long duration should be your battery voltage more than 3.4 voltage above. For daily survey, 3.2 voltage to avoid the gauge failure. And uh, using a scanning rate below 20 seconds, which is standard battery. Uh, need to, scanning rate means need to uh, sampling. The gauge will record every particular time. Sometimes uh, production engineers for uh, well, production engineer they will last for every five second once every 10 second every 15 second it's depending on the client uh, requirement so, and the second this all like basic things first i'll finish this basic things then we'll go for uh, technical terms and running a gauge you need to use this uh, shock observer centralizer gauge carrier that will protect your gauge shock observer means actually first thing will run the gauges with the slick line crew slick line and uh, some uh, Wireline and slick line through. Uh, before we run the gauges, we need to check this tubing accessibility, tubing clear or not. So, so we'll, we'll run the tubing clearance and then we'll go for, before we run the gauges, we'll go for tubing clearance. If we need to set the gauge, we need to set bo boom hanger, like a boom, a different type of boom hanger. It depends upon the nickel. And there is, in this uh, tubing clearance, after tubing clearance, we'll run set and will boom hanger. After that, we'll run the gauge. With the shock observer, it will observe the shock. If something uh, scale or something uh, while uh, you run it, but something stop, it will observe the shock, so your gauge will protect. Centralizer means it will centralize your gauge. If something if you are running the hole, the, if there is GLB or high deviation, your gauge will stop uh, while running hole. So it will centralize your gauge. 
to go the nipple uh, exact uh, which location you want to mix away or something and gauge career it will protect your uh, gauge from much spheres or uh, uh, like uh, uh, chemicals or something it will protect your gauges and uh, so next one phospholipid operation this very important ones uh, it will kill your gauge mostly uh, silicon operator should run the gauges what maximum 150 feet per minute if they go some people they will run the gauges 250 300 so you will lose your data gauge will start the reading there is high possible chances to get your battery disconnection so once this gauge program finish before you run in hole the operator should run the gauge 150 feet per minute maximum and the gauge maintenance actually this sent there is sensor inside the gauges don't touch the sensor never you need you need to uh, we don't want to touch with the uh, sensor use diesel to clean the bottom most i'll show you the images later and uh, do not over torque electronic housing uh, actually there is uh, allowable limit torque to close the house once you program everything finished we need to connect the battery to close the battery housing and uh, to close the battery housing to connect the tools there is uh, allowable limit for torque so always use torque wrench is recommended and the electronic should be hand tightened don't uh, use fiber wrench or something to over it because it's a fine thread so it will damage your uh, battery uh, thread so use always allowable torque and uh, once you re retrieve the gauge from the well otherwise once you finish daily job or long job always need to be very careful with the worings because if worring damage and sometimes if the high the uh, high pressure well gas well or something It will enter your gauge, but the o-ring will protect your gauges. O-ring is not good; the gas will enter the inside the gauges. Transmission, electronic part, everything will damage. So we need to be very careful with the o-rings. There is different types of o-rings, like high heat stress o-ring, high temperature o-ring, a hard o-ring. So depends upon the well condition, we need to choose the exact o-ring for uh, uh, for the gauges. We need to put the grease. For the o-rings and to avoid the temperature, to protect the sensor and the bottom hole full nose, so with the grease to protect. It. Program and start uh, download recorder. Once you receive the gauges, to connect the gauge to your PC, to the to the dedicated uh, interface cable, and launch the gauge software. Once you launch the gauge software, there is programming parameters if needed. Actually, once you open the software, it will show you gauge program. How many sample rate required? Like some uh, production engineers, they will require every five second once they need pressure and temperature. Some people they need every ten seconds. Some people they need every two seconds. Sometimes they need every twelve seconds. So depends upon the production engineers or client requirements. We need to program the parameters and how many days. So for example, some people they need only five days. Some people they need only fifteen days. so it depends upon the client requirement we need to make the program 15 days for every 5 second every 5 so it will change every uh, client requirements once you program finish disconnect the tool close the protecting sleeve and housing run the recorder with slick line package as i told you earlier as i told earlier uh, slick line package maximum speed 150 feet per minute is maximum with shock absorber centralizer and i'll show you the images so once you finish the recorder once the slip line crew and the tubing accessibility they run set and pull boom anger after that they uh, run the gauges and they finish survey they will retrieve the gauges they will pull out the gauges once they pull out then you will receive your gauges again connect the tool with your pc with the software and launch the software download the recorder data gauge will download the data and they will uh, read uh, download the uh, data after that we'll receive one message like how many jobs detected for example if uh, more than 10000 jobs detected like 40000 4 lakhs depends upon the duration if one week it's in the hole it uh, depends upon the sampling rate will uh, get the uh, sample data so trouble should sometimes gauge when you connect the gauge it will not work this is a common issue for troubleshooting the electronic memory gauges uh, like bypass your battery open the system communication port is uh, configuration and check the communication port is selected or correctly and check the external communication check your cable condition sometimes cable is broken so 
your gauge will not detect in the software. So this is the basic things for troubleshooting. And uh, so for particular once you run the gauges uh, for a long period of time, you need to be calibrate the gauges because sometimes when before you run in the before you program the before you send the gauges to the field, you need to ensure the gauge is good condition, accuracy, everything is good. So calibration process. So then the, Calibration is uh, to accurate, uh, to more accurate. Uh, Sometimes we we'll send the gauges every six months once for uh, calibration. If you found any 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 error in the pressure and temperature, like before we send the gauges uh, for the field, we'll make bench test, like ambient pressure error. Uh, uh, atmosphere, we'll check atmospheric pressure. And, uh, if it is uh, high pressure in, in the atmospheric, we will send for calibration. It will it will, be, it will be your result will be accurate then uh, there is no minimum or maximum validity for a calibration it depends on depends on number of jobs performed for a particular time and uh, how much uh, some gauges will be used for high hds or high pressure well so some gas are trapped inside the gauges so it will affect your gauge accuracy Hello. Maximum validity for uh, calibration and uh, the operating pressure and temperature depends. And mostly when you send the gauges during the bench test, you can identify the gauges in good condition, its accuracy, everything is okay. We need to know gauge temperature is okay, gauge uh, pressure also okay. Atmospheric pressure and atmospheric temperature. Actually, we'll say like uh, atmospheric pressure is 14.7 psi once we run in the gauges it should be 0 0.1 psi yes psi g means it's a gauge pressure so need to detect minus 14.7 pressure so like uh, gauge configuration maximum how much uh, gauge range is 15,000 psi maximum and you can see the accuracy plus or minus 0 0.6 percentage of so and temperature is maximum 150 degrees Celsius. It's an example one. Some gauges we can go for 175 to 20 degrees Celsius also. Accuracy plus or minus 1 degree Celsius for temperature, typical 0 0.5 degree Celsius. Power lithium by lithium and the battery life is better than one year. Sampling capacity, actually every one second it will we can record the data, pressure and temperature survey data up to 600 seconds also we can. So if you give one second, battery will drain quickly. If you give 60, 600 seconds, it will take very long time. You can set for the year also. And total capacity, you can see how many data set we can record. And the real time pressure also we can taken from this gauges. This is a sample calibration certificate for the PPS gauges. The pressure range they will do the calibration will be sent to the gauges for the calibration. They will send the minimum one PSI A. PSI means PSI A means atmospheric pressure. PSI G means it's minus 14.7. So it's very accuracy and temperature range minimum 25 degrees Celsius to maximum 177 degrees Celsius. So it's, it's, it's uh, different from uh, it's like uh, different gauges have different configuration, different ranges. So cali this is calibration summary and all the gauges manufactured by Inconel 718 material because normal material we cannot use, we cannot set for long duration because it will affect your gauges. In the, uh, if it is high, high HTS well or gas well, it will it will damage your gauges. If, if, if you use the Inconel 71 material, very good quality and uh, high resistance and the high temperature material, it will not affect it by high HTS. So in, mostly 99% gauge company, they use Inconel 71 material for the manufacturing of the gauges. And this is whole things similar. If you, go, if you look at the first one, it's a 2.75 R is a B boom angle. 2.7 if you look at the well diagram, well schematic diagram, you know the tubing size and you know uh, after you check the well diagram, there is crossover, there is GLV, if there is some, if there is GLV, you can see the GLV side pocket mantle, 
then you come uh, come the nipple like 2.75 r nipple some will they have 2.75 f nipple 2.313 f nipple uh, 2 x and nipple x nipple different sizes and different nipple what is baker so if you have 2.75 r nipple should use 2.75 r boom angle this r is nipple and z is lock there is inside lock lock b is boom angle so if there is r nipple inside the well you should use 2.75 r cp for example 2.25 f nipple inside the well you have to use 2.25 f w b f means nipple and w is angle lock b means boom angle so you can see the length of the bomb anchor 1.20 feet length and uh, this is length you can check this OD I'm fishing that if something drop or wire cut need to take the tool string outside the well so you should know the fishing net for each and every tool inside uh, before running and the second one is shock observer to observe the shock shock observer is common one for all uh, all type of nipple all everything is common so only you should know what type of boom anger need to run because if you if there is r nipple inside the well you have to run r is a b boom anger if you have nipple fwb boom anger it is x nipple x and boom anger so if you run with a different boom anger that is different lock mandrel inside the well so you cannot set the gauges it will if you try to set the gauges maybe it will uh, go down and you will lose the gauges everything so always need to be very careful with the bomb anger what type of boom anger you choose for you have to choose correct boom anger for correct uh, nip and if you come for actually most of the company most of the clients they will ask tandem gauges tandem means two gauges top gauge and bottom gauge sometimes if something failure or something not good so you need to make sure everything is perfect so they will compare both the data sometimes if you lose top gauge, top gauge data you can take bottom gauge for safer side they will always send two gauges so top gauges and bottom gauge the next one is centralizer centralizer is mostly used for uh, high deviation well and uh, glv wells if there is more than 60 62 degree deviation if you uh, because when you run in the hole already have bomb anchor short observer top gauge and bottom gauge so it will be already you have tool string also like mechanical jar short observer before uh, boom hanger, you have mechanical jar running to pulling to the when you run, it will be very lengthy. So when you run in the world, it will stuck in uh, stuck the SPM or something uh, high deviation. So you lose your weight running. Uh, weight. So you use centralizer to centralize your tool to reach the nipple then. So you have to use centralizer before this is a firearm tool string schematic for to run the gauges inside the well. So above this tool string, there is running tool. Like a RB, if you want to run the C1 running tool, mechanical jar, a bulb socket. Now we are going to see some technical details. First one is bottom pole pressure and temperature circuit. Actually, the main purpose of the gauges to know the pressure and temperature of the well in a different depth. And this part of all flowing pressure carried out in well obtain the pressure data between local and average reservoir pressure. Reservoir pressure has required obtain knowledge about reservoir dry mechanism, productivity, length of hydrocarbon column. Survey runs, as I told earlier, drift run to check hole condition to ensure instrument can safely re enter the tube. So before we run the hole, uh, need to check uh, the well diagram there is safety wall or not if, if there is some say if there is safety wall first one we need to run one gauge cutter and uh, after that we need to run we need to retrieve the safety wall subsurface safety wall after that we need to run gauge cutter gauge cutter means uh, full board gauge cutter like 2.75 if there is r nipple need to run at least need to run 2.740 gauge cutter to check the tubing if there is a scale or something if for example 2. Point, uh, as per the well diagram 2.74 uh, 2.75 r nipple uh, up to 7500 depth when you run in hole 2.7 with this 2.740 gauge cutter if it is stopped to 6500 you cannot run the gauges that's already something scale or something inside so you need 
to be very careful ensure the instrument can safely re enter the you can run the gauges maximum up to 6500 only if you go more than 6500 uh, above it will stuck if it is stuck then we will need to cut the wire it's a big problem so always need to be very careful preferent to check the whole condition if you go to if if you want to set the gate if it this daily for daily survey to check tipping clearance or tipping accessibility to check the tipping okay or not. if you want to set the gauge for long time you have to run the uh, tipping clearance if you are looking to pick your gauge cutter like 2.740 gauge cutter and locate the nipple locate, locate at nipple 2.75 r nipple which means tipping accessibility is okay then you have to go for bomb handle you have to set the bomb handle like uh, Bowmanger means to hang your uh, gauges. Sometimes, if you try to set gauges, you cannot set the bowmanger because nipple is washer. Two point seven five R nipple or X N nipple or F nipple nipple washer. You cannot set the gauges. That's why before you set the gauges, like a dummy rod, we say it's a dummy rod. We need to set the bowmanger and retrieve the bowmanger again, which means we ensure okay everything is perfect. If accessibility is okay. We can uh, nipple is okay, nipple is condition is good, so we can set the gauges. And the second one is record zero point and top of match Christmas, which means uh, when you get belt diagram, you can find like 2.75 R nipple, as I said earlier, 7500. They will mention RPKB depth, which means it's a rig floor depth. So, same time you will check there is they mention elevation 28 feet or 30 feet something. Which means already they measured this depth while they, they are in rig floor. That is 28 feet, 30 feet, uh, which means rig floor height. So we need to take minus this 28 or 30. They will call is it the rig, well diagram depth is RPKB and the second one, violent depth is WEZ. So for example, 7500 R nipple depth as per well diagram, the real violent depth is 7400. 70 which means we need to detect 30 feet from the rtk meter so once you reach 7470 you can set the gauges uh, as you you follow the bell diagram 7500 maybe you will uh, uh, before that it will stop so you have to be very careful with zero point top of the actually when you run in the hole there is a depth counter inside the uh, winch unit wire line or slip line unit so you need to be careful the counter is perfectly okay or not. Zero line must be marked when gauge is cold. One before you run in the hole, uh, when your gauge is in the lubricator, inside the lubricator above the BOB. So you know you should mark zero. This is a zero depth. And run the gauges in tandem. The tandem means two gauges to depth, like depth. It means depth 600, 400, 200, like 7,500, 7,000, which depth you want, you can make for specified duration. Duration uh, like different planes, they need a different duration. Some people they need the, every 10 minutes for each depth. Some people they need uh, some planes, they need every 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And some people they need first stop 30 minutes and second all the remaining stop only five minutes. So it depends upon the client requirement. You can run the gauges in different minutes with a specific duration. Then pull the gauges from uh, run and static survey. Static survey like they call us a gradient survey you should know uh, client should know what is inside the uh, well, before uh, you run the pages they will play. if you want to make grade vcp gradient survey we call it as bottom pole close in pressure and gradient survey so before you run the gauges line they will close the well before four or five days so every uh, gas will uh, water will go down and water plus oil will go uh, up uh, in the second position. After that, oil, then oil plus gas, then gas. So you can know what is inside the well in a different well, like 7,500 full of water, 7,000 maybe water plus oil, 6,000 full of oil, 4,000 oil plus gas, maybe top position full of gas. So, and once you finish this, all the survey, pull out the whole the, pull out of coal, pure which means pull out of coal to the lubricator for final zero line. 
it's a survey chat, like example chat. I will show you. Uh, and the survey requirements for a routine survey and monthly or annual basis. Client, the, so most of the clients they will require survey for well every six months once if there is something urgent, if they want to do any completion or whatever jobs or they want to kill in. So they, they need uh, these survey requirements, survey jobs. After completion survey also, they will do, the, they want to know the pressure of the reservoir. So they will, after completion, they will do, and if they want to report for the particular one, they will do the survey and communication test. Communication test also, they will do survey. And the water gas injection survey, gas lift survey. So uh, gas lift will test means it's important survey. Actually, if there is side pocket model inside the well, well not producing, uh, well not produce the well naturally, they want to flow the well artificially. Before they will set gas lift valve. Before they set the gas lift valve, they should know the exact pressure of the side pocket model. For example, if there is well uh, SPM one, SPM two, SPM three, there is three SPM. So they will run the gauges. From the bottom level, after that, they will go for SPM3 from below. So they will stop 10 minutes, like for example, 10 minutes, they will stop in the exact SPM3, and they uh, after that, 10 feet below SPM, 10 feet above SPM, 5 feet above SPM, 5 feet below SPM. So after that, they will uh, take, uh, they will go for second SPM, they will take 10 minutes survey above five minutes, above five feet, and below five feet, below 10 feet, above 10 feet. Again, they'll go for first SPM. So each SPM, they'll take survey for specific duration. So after the survey finished, then we can download the data. We can check exactly how much pressure inside the well at SPM three, SPM two and SPM one. So before we set GLB, we need to equalize the pressure pressure from analyst to CP because SPMA means there is communication between analyst and the QP. So when you set the GLB, you need to equalize the pressure from analyst and QP. Otherwise, it will jump and wait the fishing will happen. So gas lift well test is very, very important to before set GLB or GLB chain or the RFS to set the dummy wall or change RFS wall, something. It's a very important survey test. And the well production, well problem identification also, they will make survey. Some well, uh, there is no production or uh, some leakage in the tubing, or sometimes handless pressure buildup. So we'll do the survey to know the exact well, which well there is pressure loss we can know. And the repeat survey means it's unreliable in survey. Some example, one one month before there is well lead pressure, 1,500 PSI. After two after 10 days, there is 200, 300. So it, it's, it's unreliable survey means we'll do the survey again and other special surveys like bottom hole flowing pressure survey after set the GLB to know how much pressure build up after set the GLB and the alpha survey there is different types of survey. So example it's a survey like a recorded raw data like a client name PEA and the field MKV like date it's a time when uh, time started this gauge record started like that it means 12 hours gauge inside. actually before we started running it before from the lab to they make program they went the field it take 12 hours like uh, 12 hours they will inside the field before run the gauges so they start the run start running work in the tubing after that pressure start uh, they open the well inside the uh, there is pressure inside the lubricator 1800 around Approximately 1,800 is the lead pressure. So like the sample data. This is a BACB gradient survey. Bottom hole, close in pressure, gradient survey. Actually, once the program finish, there is this point, particularly this point, it's atmospheric pressure. Full of atmospheric pressure. Here, they start running hole. Once they start running hole, which means they, which means they open the well, Pressure build up, pressure, pressure uh, build up, uh, pressure increase in the lubricator. You can see this point, this is well pressure inside the tube, inside the lubricator. This is well pressure. 
after that they start running gold so pressure gradually increased they go for 1000 like 1000 2000 3000 4000 5000 6000 7000 here nipple death if there is nipple 7000 for example 7500 if there is 7500 nipple death 7500 they will take survey on 7500 for 20 minutes like 20 minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes depends upon uh, client requirement so seven thousand next one bottom hole bottom hole means this first post it close in pressure already well closed which means closed in pressure well closed in uh, christmas tree well closed here bottom hole 7500 7400 7300 7200 for example so this is bottom hole close in pressure so they want to know the reservoir pressure which means bottom hole closing pressure they will close the well before three four days before the running the hole so after that they will make gradient survey which means gradient 7000 6000 5000 4000 4000 3000 2000 1000 zero this is exactly well at pressure you can if you click in the software like a different company the pioneer or metrolog or uh, custer each company they have different software once you click you can know the exact pressure of the well and the red line mark is temperature well temperature you can see here pressure increase temperature also increase pressure decrease temperature also decrease so you can see here this is bottom hole closing pressure survey and this is gradient survey the next page you can see sample gradient calculation like 5100 5000 4900 4800 this four bottom hole closing pressure survey and the tvd tvd means uh, true vertical depth sometimes uh, well uh, there is deviation 50 55 degree 60 65 degree 40 35 degree deviation so if you want to calculate gradient like oh, you want to know what is inside the well gas or oil or, uh, so you you should know tvd depth also like here there is no deviation if, you, if there is deviation gradient it will be different so first you should know measure depth and how much deviation like example 60 degree deviation you have to calculate from the, using deviation you can calculate the tvd i will show you later how to calculate the tvd from measure depth so there is tvd pressure here 5100 gets record the pressure 2887 pressure 5000 this much pressure 4000 so gradient means pressure difference like 5100 5000 pressure both these two pressure difference between depth difference if you do pressure difference if you like for example if you take some difference and you can take this difference you will get this value which means here gas is 0 0.09 gradient means gas 5100 depth that is gas inside the well if you go for 5000 you go for 5000 gas inside the well like each depth they check uh, they make bottom hole closing pressure they know what pressure inside what temperature inside and what gradient inside what uh, what fluid inside so you can produce it or gas injector so that's why it's full of gas gas in the gradient now you can this top cage bottom cage now you can go for bottom cage say you can see the same pressure which means both gauges very good condition sometimes you'll, you'll may maximum one psi or 1.5 psi it will be different you can see temperature there is different, small difference if, if it is more than and two three psi different we need to send these gauges for calibration need to ensure which gauge is not good need to make bench test and need to identify which gauge is not good so this gradient calculation i will show you later how to calculate tvd and how to calculate gradient so gradient means this gradient chart if it is 0 0.0 0 0.15 psi per feet which means gas inside the you can see 0 point, 0 0.09, 0 point, 0 point, 0 to 0 0.15 gas. So, which means here full of gas. 0 0.15 to 0 0.20 means gas plus oil. 
Example data. The so pressure actually P F O pressure fall off test only for injector beds and B B U for only producer beds. Which means pressure pressure fall off means once there uh, pressure. This all well testing technique like pressure fall off, pressure build up, fall build up, like pressure fall off, pressure build up. And bottom wall flowing pressure test, long test for MRT, MIT. This all long test is something you need to set the gauges for long duration, like ten days, fifteen days, sixty days, three months, five months, six months. And depends upon client required. Like once you program the gauges, start running wall pressure build. Yes, you are running in the hole. Six thousand. You you set the gauge. Maybe you set. Yes. After that, they open the valve. From here, they open the valve. They, sorry, they inject the valve. Which means they inject the pressure from the top, from the valve uh, area. So when they inject, the, there is pressure build up, pressure increase. Yes, there is. Uh, they inject so water or something. Only bad valve, water or gas. Alternative gas. So they will inject water or gas. So pressure fall off only for injector. After pressure increase, they close the valve for P F O. Actually, they will close the valve. They will inject the valve. After that, they close the valve for a particular time. They want to know how much pressure fall off in the particular on, on a particular time to know the exact reservoir capacity and reservoir pressure. And you can see here pressure. Pressure set. Set. Open the star. Injection starter. Here injection. They started the injection. After that, they close the valve, which means they stop the injection and pressure coming down. For particular time, you can see the date here. Almost eight days they stop, close the valve. So here, for example, here three thousand five hundred pressure. Here three thousand five hundred. Here two thousand five hundred, which means thousand pressure increase for a period of ten days. So they have some calculation for to increase the reservoir capacity. This is bottom hole flowing pressure test. Same procedure. They run in wall. Set the gauges. You can see. Set the gauges. Set the how much degree uh, every period. How much pressure? Three thousand eight hundred zero three psi gauge pressure. G. So the pressure. After that, they set the gauges. During the particular time, pressure increase because well already closed. So the reservoir pressure will be increased, and they open the valve again. They open the valve. Once they open, pH of P means flowing pressure, which means well flow. So PHFP only for producer. So once they open the valve, pressure will decrease. 
once pressure decreased, you can see the graph pressure decreases. After that, again, they close the well on this particular date. Once they close the well, pressure suddenly increased. After that, P over H pull out of all gauges. They retrieve the gauges. So they'll then they'll uh, flow the well and they want to check how much pressure inside the reservoir. Before they open the well, how much pressure? After flow the well for the particular time, how much pressure inside the well? So they want to know flowing pressure test. This is a PHFP test. This same test here. They set the gauges, flow the well, well closed, pressure increased. Again, they flow the well, pressure decreased, flow the well. Here, PHFP test to finish. So they close the well and they retrieve the gauges out the surface, gauges in the surface. This is pressure build up test. Pressure fall off test only for injector, like water injector or gas injector. Pressure build up test only for producer, well. oil producer or gas producer. Build up only for producer. Well. Same start running hole. Here start running hole. And here they set the gauges. Flow the well, so pressure is decreased. They close the well for pressure buildup. You can see here, close the well for BB. Once they close the well, pressure buildup. So they want, they will check the pressure here. How much, for example, 2700 pressure here. After seven days or six days, they close. Final pressure, end of BB utilization. After eight days for a particular, like seven, 700 hours, after 700 hours, how much pressure buildup for a particular time? So this is pressure buildup test. To know the reservoir, how much pressure buildup for a particular reservoir is there. So this is pressure buildup test. It's a multi-rate test. Multi-rate test means MRT, MRT used in oil. So again, same, they run in hole, they set the gauges, open the well for a particular choke, like a multi-rate, which means uh, uh, this one current choke, which means they open the well. After that, they change the choke size. They will adjust the choke flow rate. They will adjust the flow rate. They will reduce like 25 percentage. They open the flow through flow tube. So pressure, uh, you can see here there is different flow rate. Like this, uh, 22 by 64. Like they will mention like 22 by 64, 24 by 64, and 32 by 64. Like different, different choke size. They will call it as choke size. So different choke size, different pressure. So they want to know which choke size to produce more oil or more uh, uh, production. For more production, more pressure, which one, which choke is good. So they will check, uh, well test through, they will check, then the test in the surface. So gauges, gauge, it will record the reservoir pressure inside the well. So we can know the exactly which choke for produce more oil or produce more uh, what, uh, gas or something. So we want to know exactly what choke is best for the particular well. So the, the, we, for example, if they uh, seventy percentage open the well, it's, which is more uh, uh, good, they will open the well for seventy percentage for a particular thing. So MRT is multi rate They will check the well in multi rate. Which rate is good? They will run the same uh, with the same rate. MRT gradient survey, multi-rate test plus gradient. They will set the gauge for long time, like PHFP, PFO, even uh, P pressure buildup, MRT. Once the long test finish, for example, once this long test, they close the well for BBU. After that, they close the well. Before we retrieve, we need we can do gradient survey also. Like when we zoom these pages, we'll know that like 4,000, you can see 3,000, 2,000, 1,000, we'll make survey also like this example program. Start at running hole. They start the gauges inside the hole. They set the gauges 2.697 R nipple, 2.75 R nipple actually. 2.697 means no go, R nipple no go, 2.697. So R nipple at depth 7,915. They will set the nipple at this particular depth in this nipple. After that, they, uh, next day, they open the well on current choke, which means already there is some choke fixed inside the well. So they open the well at current choke. Again, they open the well first, first to open the well and 24 by 64, which means yeah, 24 by 64. 
second open the well on choke 32 by 64. Let's see, 32 by 64. Third open the well on choke 40 by 64. 40 by 64. Shut in the well. Next one, shut in the well for BBU test. They shut in the well for pressure builder. So here there is the MRT test plus BBU plus gradient. After BBU finish, end of test, test finish, start survey. 7,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, like 2,000, 1,000. So program, uh, like uh, we can make gradient how to see inside of it. Now we can go uh, like some real data, Excel sheet, how to prepare these reports and uh, how they run the gauges, how to, you can see some gradient like uh, how oil, what is inside the well, oil or gas? I will show you some real realistic data. Like you can see here, it's recorded data and I'll open in the software. You can write location, for example, EAE. Well number, survey, PDF photos. The top gauge, actually there is two gauge, top and bottom, panda. Start time, can give five o'clock. Today, data. Now you can see the data. I'll show. This once after finish the program. Now here, gauge engineer connect the battery. So which means gauge start reading. You can check here. Fifth start time here pressure zero point three two, which means okay zero point one point something is okay. Which means gauge is good. Temperature 76.68 Fahrenheit, which means 25 26 degrees Celsius atmospheric pressure, atmospheric temperature. This PSI G, this one is PSI G, gauge pressure. So, zero point is good. This one Fahrenheit, so, which means 26 something degrees Celsius. So, which is good. After that, may, they will go to field or something before running the hole inside the well, which means it's empty data. After you can come here. Here pressure start builder. You can see pressure start builder from here, which means they start running well from the this point. So we can write here start running well. After running well, here they open uh, open the well. This portion is well air pressure. 1899 PSI is well at pressure. This is well at pressure. Let's check here. They close the well for they close the well. So pressure coming down because which means this PFO well, PFO test. This is injectable. So they close the well, pressure coming down. Again, they start injection, they close the well. Again, they stop the injection. So they close the well for a particular time and they want to know how much. You can see here, I will choose here. When they stop the injection, pressure is 2781. After six. After nine days, they nine days they shut in the well. Shut in means they stop the injection. Pressure decrease. Pressure fall up. Two thousand seven hundred three 
when they stop injection. So this is pressure fall of this. Once you've done everything, like you can mention here, so you can go for header, you can make here everything. Client, for example, you can write everything. Well type, injector well. Injector well, lab technician. Now I, I write only two points, start running bowl and end of test. This one we can make like, uh, now I write here. You need to zoom in, zoom in again to choose the exact point here. Injection start. Again, zoom in. Now you can see here. Once this test finish, before they retrieve the cages to the surface, they will do survey also. You can check here. This is zero. So you can write here. You have to mention star. It will take us a bit. So you have to mention star is zero. Zero touch. Here I mentioned thousand, for example. Can write like that to thousand, but I'll mention thousand here. You can see here they make stop five minutes, for example. Here you can click seven seventy-nine. 15 19 they stop uh, survey they start survey 15 20 which means six minutes six minutes they make survey pressure stable you can check 779 779 781 0 0.5 1 psa no problem so there is pressure stable you can see same here 2000 0000 So I'll finish now. I choose the stop running wall and set the gauges in the stop injection, started injection, again stop injection, pressure fall off. When we retrieve the gauges, we make survey, choose the points. Once you came here, you'll get all the comments here. Start running wall, stop injection, injection started, stop injection, end of test, and survey. You can check all the surveys here. Now you go gradient. Now you can check depth from comment from this comment. This comments. So I'll give you here. That is what is inside I. 0 0.33. You can check already. 0 0.33, which means oil plus water. Oil and water mix 8,000, 1,800. 4,000 feet, 1,400. For example, if there is deviation in this well, for example, if there is deviation of 45, 50 degree deviation, it will be a little bit, maybe it will change like 4950. Can check here 4950. Here it will change. Gradient will change. So depends upon need to always need to be very careful with the TV dealer. Once uh, well completion over, client they will send you well schematic diagram with well survey report also. So they will send uh, how much depth, how much deviation. For example, if they mention 5000 measured depth, 59 degree deviation, and they will mention vertical depth, depth also. For example, if they mention measure up to 4,990, 
in next one 4700 so between that is how much deviation you can calculate it's very easy to calculate even you can take it from google or something we'll detail explain in our uh, one week course and how to calculate uh, how to do the survey and how to make the reports actually for uh, you create that now now you can go for here make excel report I click at this one. Still, there is uh, so many type of survey, communication test, interference test, isochronal test. There is different test. I will show you some more videos how to prepare this reports because nowadays currently all the circling crew and violin crew they need data acquisition engine now you can see the report just now in front of you i'll finish as we you were earlier client pea UAE file number you can come here header check start running work start injection reports top data which means that gauge record real raw data actually from your client or reservoir engineers they will take this data they will take all this data, recorded data. Example, should I cut the from here? This day start recording from here, zero second. From which date? This date to this particular five seven. The zero from pressure. How much pressure? One seven days. You came here. Totally four eighty three hours gauge inside the hole. So you can, you can calculate how many days inside the world. 483 divided by 24, you can calculate how many days gauges inside the world and what is the pressure you can see. So there is pressure increase, pressure below. It's all recorded data. So they will copy this all the data and put in some the local software like Kappa. There is a different software to check build reservoir capacity, everything. So from our side, we'll make our page and get there what happened inside the world. What is happened outside and what is happening inside and the uh, raw data what record we got from the gauges and chart we saw earlier same chart here and calculation what is the depth what is the gradient what is the temperature and pressure so top data once again we'll do bottom we'll copy and just paste here that's it this is a top uh, top data now we can i'll show you some other uh, All raw data. You can check. It's all BACP gradients. Are the you can see this before they run in the once gauge program finish. This one here you can zoom. There is pressure built. Once you click here. See, they mentioned start running hole. It's already prepared report. So that's why it's already mentioned. Start running hole in tubing string. So if it is single tubing, you can mention tubing string. If it is short string or long string, dual string, you can mention start running hole in long string or uh, short string tubing. It's a tubing uh, well head pressure. They want to open the well, there is this pressure in lubricator. When gauges in the lubricator, well head to be handed, this is a well head pressure. After that, you can see here, you can zoom particular point. This first stop. They make bottom hole one, two, three, four. This is bottom hole closing pressure circuit. So, first stop, they make 20 minutes, I think. In the second one, 12 minutes, 8 minutes, something. Uh, the client they need uh, like 10 minutes five minutes different client requirement now you can click here just when you click here 3201 click here 3201 here also 3201 so they mentioned depth at measured depth 
7600. You can check how much pressure? Same pressure. Pressure is stable. So next one should be 7500. You can check here. In the end, always technician, they will choose the end point. Because uh, after four, five, six minutes, pressure will be stable. That's why always we choose last prime. You can check 7400. You can check 7000. You can come with 7300. After 7300, need gradient each 1000 feet. Like here, maybe 7000. You can check 7. Sorry, 6000. So already we choose 7300. So we can go for 6000. And this one, 5000. Like for example, if there is GLV in 6300, we need to stop in 6300 to know the what is the pressure in GLV, gas lift valve. Uh, the, the, uh, the, before the GLV change or something, they should know how much pressure inside the valve to equalize the pressure. Before said GLV, after GLV, so sometime uh, 6300, the second, the third GLV. 4,300 next one, 2,500. So depends upon GLV, depth may, may be change. So here 5,000, this one 4,000. Four thousand. You know, some three thousand. You can see two thousand. Thousand. Here, zero. Zero means keep me the pressure. This is valid pressure. Valid pressure is thousand one hundred fourteen point zero four. Temperature is one forty six point eight zero four hundred. Now you can come header. Can check. Okay. You can check basic detail like the client. You can fill like uh, petroleum engineering association, fill the name, location, well number, survey, bottom well closing pressure, and which date they started the survey, end date which day they finished the survey, and mostly bottom well closing pressure and gradient survey. It will take only eight or uh, six hours. But when we program finish, we will go to the field and we go to field and go to one or two days to get approval permit uh, for the start the work. So it will take, but survey, it will take maximum three to four hours to run the gauges and they make close impression survey, gradient survey. So uh, within one day, they will easily finish the BACP. For test, it will take long time. And you have to choose the battery, depends upon the survey. If it is short term one day survey, you can use Volt battery also like if you have 3.20 volt voltage uh, 3.20 uh, voltage it's very good for uh, daily survey but if it is long test like two month three month you have to use new battery at least one battery like we use tandem gauges upper and lower gauge so we have to use at least one new battery for safer side now you can check basic detail now you can come here you can found your c cooler file 7600, 7000 vertical depth pressure and uh, temperature. Here. So, gradient. Gradient means already I told earlier pressure difference divided by depth difference. You calculate, you will get this result 0 0.28, which means soil. Like this one, BSAP gradient survey. I'll open one
Yes, same. Uh, they set the gauges after the, you can see, they flow the well, pressure decrease, again they end up test, they make supply. Like this very low depth, like two, the only nipple is in 2000, so 2000, 1000, maybe zero. Sometimes there is ESP, but electrical submersible motor well. So if it is producible different, ESP well different. So we need to be very careful when we prepare the report for ESP well. Yes, uh, for example, if it is ESP well, when they start ESP, pressure decrease, which means when they flow, normal, actually, uh, artificial producer, when they uh, started the well uh, ESP, when they open the well, pressure will be increased when ESP mode, that is, if there is vital condition ESP motor. For normal well, when they open, pressure decrease. For ESP well, when they open the well, pressure will be increased. Like I, I, I hope this uh, this well ESP well because when they close the well, this position when they close the well, pressure decrease. Because they mentioned BVU, but pressure is decreased, which means you can see here pressure decrease. Once they close the well, once they clo uh, close the well, you can see pressure drop again. Pressure build up, which means this electrical submersible ESP vital condition. So they close the well after the pressure build up. You can check here 403. You can check find 170 pressure, 170 PSA pressure increase for a particular pipe. Like uh, you can check. In seven days. After seven days, 170 PSA pressure is increased. So next week, uh, not next week, uh, Maybe we'll do one week uh, webinar, one week course. Uh, we'll going, we'll see 